Hey, what's up, y'all? So, I got a package just came. It was supposed to be for this job that this lady, she gave me to run around. Um, these are weekly home testing COVID kits. So, since I got it, I'll just go ahead and do it. Anyways, I had, I had, had no idea that they did home testing. And since it was for... These kits cost $119, but since it was for the job I was going to do, it was free. So, because I didn't, I actually, I did not have uh, um, $119. Or they said your insurance will cover it, but you know how that go. So... It's Pixel by LabCorp. Like I said, I had never, I didn't know they did. They did a, they do a lot of other uh, home kits. And it says I have to register the kit. Sample will not be processed until it is registered. So we got to register the kit. The kit includes one collection tube one collection tube and one swab really that's it i thought it would be two and a biohazard specimen bag the box to return it in and a registration card and a fedex return pack i don't know my ac is doing something crazy but that's what's in the box. I'm just reading this, show. Take the foam swab out of its package. Do not touch the tip of the swab with your hands. Unscrew the top of the collection tube. Hold swab in one hand and the collection tube in the other. Be careful not to spill the liquid. Do not drink the liquid. Okay. Insert the tip of the tube. Insert the tip of the foam swab into one nostril. The foam swab does not need to be inserted far. Insert just until foam tip of the swab is no longer visible. Rotate the swab in a circle and the entire inside edge of your nostril at least three times. Then you repeat with the other nostril. Remove the foam swab from the, your second nostril and place in the collection tube. The end of the foam swab that went into your nose should be placed into the tube first so it sits down in the liquid. Screw the top of the collection tube back on. Well, <clears throat> you're supposed to wash your hands. Again, uh, insert collection tube into the biohazard specimen bag. Seal the biohazard specimen bag by closing the Ziploc seal. Place the specimen bag back into your purple pixel box and close the lid place the shipping box into the FedEx return pack remove the adhesive cover strip and seal the return pack okay guys so these are all the instructions yeah, and they were gonna have me do this once a week y'all and then you get you get the results online so everything's got to go back in this box and this is a big the huge envelope they want the box to go into okay so so that to the side this is the specimen bag the biohazard bag 
This is the nose swab. And this is the, the vial with the liquid in it. Okay. So, sorry if you hear that noise. Alright guys, so this is going to be fun. I'm glad because I saw them videos where them people, you can't do that yourself. Them medical people stick that thing way back there. They said, nope. All right, y'all. So, into one nostril. This is, this is grody, y'all. Grossy, grossy. Pickles. Oh. Rotate, circle, turn. Well, I'm doing it more than three times. Ugh. <sighs> Woo! It'll make you want to sneeze. Now you gotta do that one. Gosh, I can't imagine them pushing that thing all the way back like that. Oh my gosh. So I guess this comes back in a couple days. And then I'll come back and tell you guys what to say. Hopefully I'm good. It just, it just feels funny. Alright, so this is what they said. You got to... It down in there. Oh. Ah, cha 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 cha. All right. Then we're going to put it into our bag. Let me take a picture of this. Because I still have to register this online. And I think all I need is the number. Oop. Okay. All right, y'all. So. Put this into the bag here. It is, it's water spitting from that air conditioner. Oh. I don't know what's up with that. All right, y'all. So I got to put this back in this box. Place the specimen bag back in your purple box and close the lid. Remove the adhesive cover strip and seal the box. Okay. Whew. Okay. There we go. Oh. I'm glad you can do these yourself. That's good to know. Pixel by LabCorp, guys, just in case you're inter interested. And this is a, that big, huge bag. Hold on, y'all. They said it was... Was I supposed to... Yep, it was this, this big old seal right here.
And then I just I found out um the Walgreens down the street has a um a drop off box. Alright, so that's good and sealed there. That AC is doing something crazy, y'all. I don't know. Okay, that had a big seal strip for that. And I'm just going to put it in the bag that they gave me. Seal it up. They didn't even, um... Knock on the door. You just send the email. Alrighty, guys. So, what do you think about testing for COVID at home? You think so? Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will come back whenever. I guess I'm going to drop this off. I guess either today or tomorrow. I guess I got to do it today. So, when the results come back, I'll read them to you guys. And I will see you next time.